Hello everyone, this is your professor Shweta Dubey from CK Thakur College. Now, in the last lecture, we had discussed about what is a brand, what is the importance of brand management, what is the difference between a brand and a product. Then we went to what is the importance of brands to consumers. Now we go to the what is uh, we go to understand what is the importance of a brand to the organization. Firstly. it helps you in the identification of the product so when you go to a market like i told you in the last lecture only ki whenever you want to eat a burger the first thing that comes to your mind is a burger king or a mcdonald so that is the first way to identify ki okay, okay this is the brand that we are talking about okay so it is the uh, it is the first and the most important means of a uh, uh, brand is to create an identity the second thing is for any kind of features or signs and symbols that you are using it creates a legal protection for you so nobody can duplicate your uh, hard work nobody can imitate you that is the protection that it provides legally you are entitled to the protection of your product and your brand next one it will uh, provide the uh, indication of the firm a uh, indication to the firm about the quality of your product okay the customers what do they feel about your product how do they perceive the quality of the product that is what you get to understand when you look at the brand and its uh, and its position in the market coming to the next one it helps you to secure a competitive advantage it will provide you with a competitive edge it will give you a separate identity it will give you something to strive for something to fight for in the market it creates a unique position for you in the market which is different from your competitors which is something that it, that can take you an edge above your competitors coming to the next one it creates profit for a firm and as we have already discussed that there are tangible and intangible aspects both so your brand will provide you with both kinds of profit it will provide you with tangible aspects tangible profit as well as intangible profit so do remember that coming to the next one which is the scope of branding firstly branding is a huge a huge thing to think about to discuss about it can be used in many of the disciplines of marketing for example you can use it for market, uh, you can use it for advertising you can use it for public relations you can use it for uh, consumer behavior there are n number of disciplines in which you can integrate your branding process and you can make it better then we come to the next one is that branding is possible for any kind of entities it can be it can be done for promoting a product it can be done for promoting an idea it can be done for promoting a place so aap jo chahiye aap usko promote karne ke liye branding ka istemal kar sakte hain coming to the next one it is essential in every phase of life so whatever you think of whatever product you are planning to promote in fact you are supposed to create a brand of yourself to progress in life so therefore we say that branding is essential in every aspect of life uh, coming to the next one that it is a, a very important and imperative aspect for organizations as well as uh, entrepreneurs because the beginning of your identification or the beginning of your existence will begin from the kind of identity that you create for the product that you are promoting so that's why we say that it is imperative for entrepreneurs who are uh, who are starting up with your business and it is also essential for organizations so that they sustain for a long long period of time consider the example of coca cola uh, which has been in the forbes 10 top 10 list of uh, brands trustable most dependable brands for the for so many years in running they have been spending a lot on creating a unique identity for themselves and that is what is creating that uh, value for them the, so that they are in the top 10 brands even today uh, having started their company so many years earlier they are still at the top reason is they are creating they are consistently ensuring that whatever their brand represents is what is being promoted is what is being perceived by the customers and the last reason why uh, we can say the scope of branding is big is that it will help you sustain in the long run it will help you to stay in the business in the long run now that we have understood what the scope of branding is we'll move on to brand elements So what exactly is brand element brand elements are all those things that we had studied at the start of the lecture the name symbol sign emblem tag lines all those things are what brand elements comprise of okay these are also known as brand identities they will ensure that your product is identified amongst a 
flurry or a crowd and they will help you to differentiate yourself from the rest okay so these are those elements these are those uh, identifiable uh, markers which will create a distinct identity of your product in the eyes of the customer and it will differentiate you from your competitors now what does these include it includes uh, like i told you it includes the logo that is there for a particular product it includes the name that you have given your product it includes slogans it includes jingles it includes the kind of packaging that you are using okay all these things are a part of your uh, brand elements now what should be kept in mind when you are deciding to choose a brand element for you whatever brand elements you choose for amongst the uh, number of things that we have learned earlier uh, what what are the things that you need to keep in mind firstly your brand element whatever you are using needs to be memorable in nature okay it needs to be such that it creates a distinct impact on the mind of the consumer and it will easily be rememberable for the uh, for the uh, for the customer okay coming to the next one it should have certain meaning there needs to be a certain meaning there will be a certain association that will be attached to the brand name uh, brand name or the brand element whichever you are using okay so there there needs to be certain meaning attached to it because of which it will become um, identifiable and it will become memorable then coming to the next one it needs to be likable you cannot just decide to keep a brand element separate from the identity of the product there needs to be certain relation okay so it needs to be likable it needs to be relatable it needs to be memorable and it needs to be meaningful now coming to the next one uh, which is transferable so if tomorrow you decide for example if i have a company which is creating a soft drink so tomorrow if i decide that i have to create a different kind of product let's say i am going for a chocolate okay so company my company uh, has created a soft drink by the name by the brand name abc now if tomorrow i want to create a chocolate by the brand name abc i need to be able to create a brand in, with the same brand name i should be able to transfer my brand elements to that chocolate okay so products might be different but the brand name needs to sustain you create take the example of tata whatever happens the name tata can be applied for tata steel it can be applied for tata housing it can be applied for tata namak so you can see that the product remains but the brand name is being transferred from one product to another so it should be transferable now coming to the next one which is adaptable as per the changing times you have to evolve evolution is the only constant right so if you have to keep on evolving yourself you have to keep on bringing up changes amongst yourself so these changes can be brought about if your brand name stands the test of time so it needs to be adaptable enough to the changing scenario that is what i'm talking about when i say adaptable over here and the last one is that it should be protectable meaning that come what may your brand name will stay protected against everything else your brand name cannot be touched it cannot be hampered it cannot be utilized by somebody else that is how we are talking about and it is protectable okay so these are the six things that you need to keep in mind firstly your brand name needs to be memorable secondly it needs to be meaningful have certain meaning attached to it it needs to be likable it can be transferred from one product to another it can be adapting it should be adaptable to the changing times to the changing scenario to the changing consumer behavior it needs to be protectable against any kind of storm that you are going to face here are certain brand elements that we can talk about the first one is the kind of color combination that you are using so if i'm talking about white green blue i'm talking about detol if i'm talking about red and white i am talking about coca cola if i'm talking about white yellow and red i am talking about mcdonalds so these uh, these are the identity and identifiers of a particular brand okay coming to the next one logo if you look at the uh, example over here we have the golden arc of the um, mcdonalds so today in india if you are traveling across a street if you want to locate where is a mcdonalds nearby you just have to look at the street light and the indication with an m over there 2 kilometers away or 1 kilometers away that that m is enough for you to identify ki okay there is a mcdonalds nearby so that is the strength of the brand element which is being used the how strong of a brand mcdonalds is if that m is enough for the identification or a half eaten apple that is enough for you to identify okay we are talking about an apple product over here okay coming to the next one the tagline that you are using so let's say uh, nike just do it 
माउंटेन ड्यू डर के आगे जीत है दीज आर ऑल द टैग लाइन्स विच हैव बिकम वेरी फेमस ओके स्प्राइट क्लियर है सो वट एवर दे आर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ वॉट योर प्रोडक्ट इज स्टैंडिंग फॉर वट काइंड ऑफ फीचर्स द प्रोडक्ट हैज ओके सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नाइकी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जस्ट डू इट सो इट जस्ट टेलिंग यू दैट फगेट एवरीथिंग एल्स जस्ट डिसाइड एंड डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू एंड नाइकी विल गिव यू द पुश देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिम्बल्स सिम्बल्स एज यू कैन सी देर इज नथिंग रिटर्न ओवर दर बट यू कैन वेरी क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड द ब्रांड नेम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज डिजनी देन यू कैन यूज सेलिब्रिटीज एज वेल फॉर योर फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ ब्रांड नेम फॉर योर सेल्फ फॉर एग्जाम्पल रॉन्ग रॉन्ग बाय विराट कोहली so virat kohli is a brand name and he has attached his brand name and he has given his identity to the brand wrong he is creating that brand through his presence then we have the kind of advertising that uh, that kind of advertising campaign that you have so if you look at coca cola campaigns you will realize that they are always talking about spreading happiness which is their tagline as well they use the same kind of presence the spreading happiness then we are talking about uh, any kind of presentation of disney you will always find the disney logo being presented the mickey mouse ears that you get to see okay so these are all the examples of brand elements which can be used so this is all that we have for today thank you